I know what I said. I said we were gonna wave goodbye to Tito. Because we're past Halloween, I understand. And frankly, I don't consider myself a superstitious guy. If anything, I'm just kind of stitious. Wow. But there's one thing that I know. I know that in the season opener, that was the only game we lost. And since then, we were 5-0. and oh. And there's one common denominator. And that's the sweet, succulent, very humpable Tito. And although the pregnancy test came back negative, what the fuck? I'm positive that we need Tito around. Young Tebis, I'd like to thank you for your service. There is someone outside my house looking through my windows. You don't want to see this. It's gonna take a SWAT team to get in this motherfucking house. Ole Miss season! And the Mommy Pounders are into the playoffs. We're in 88 overall. Our top five is Walter Nolan, Travis Hunter, James Pierce Jr., Trey Harris, and Ted Rowan McMillan. Nasty, nasty. Not only that, but dude, Ole Miss playbook is a really cool playbook. You've got some awesome trick plays. You've got some really solid run and pass plays. The only thing is Ole Miss defense sucks. They don't have a single 4-3 set. It very sadly makes Warren Sapp not so usable. And we're depending a lot on our depth corners because there's so much nickel. Right? So Patrick Sertan and Marquez Sigler are very important to this team. And as you look around this team, you realize it's dummy crap. Sean Dolich had about four interceptions last game. I forgot to check stats last game because I was too geeked up. I apologize. But uh, pretty much everybody had a spectacular game. This team is off the charts. And we've got two more wins until the national championship. It is the playoffs, meaning we only have two wheel spins now. Which also means we got to make them count. I could use a left guard, but I'm privy to what the wheel decides. Will you let me have a left guard? I'll take... This is basically bait for a prestige. Now remember, if we make the national championship, we get to add a prestige player to this team. Prestige players, I'm always entitled to the best version possible. So I can get one player here, a small legend jackpot, any legend that is not the full legend. And of course, if I choose to prestige them, I would get the best version possible. Now keep in mind, there's still a lot of very good legends that aren't the full legend. Now none of the limiteds have secondary options, unfortunately. I'm gonna take Miami Hurricanes 88 overall Ed Reed. This Ed Reed is not that good, but the 90 overall Ed Reed is nasty. So I'm gonna keep him in my back pocket in case we make the national championship. Unfortunately, there's no guards uh, in the legends promo at all. So there's really not that much I could do here. I'm not gonna lie, that does not help us at all. We need a jackpot or something with an 88 plus where we could choose please oh oh shit oh this is gonna get spooky we can open every single training pack in the game and we get to choose one player now there's four of them right now legends heisman hopefuls rising the ranks and rising the ranks unauctionable this first one's an 86 plus the second one's an 86 plus this is an 87 plus which makes this the same thing i, I would have to i would have to get a nuclear pull here oh my god am i actually clapped on the wheel spins i don't know that this has ever happened i shouldn't say that yet though we could get something crazy an unauctionable rising the ranks player what is this gonna do for us oh my god this is usable blake bozma that means i gotta take holden Will willis out which is a crime against humanity but blake bozma actually has good blocking stats so he might be a better fullback than mitch evans 90 catching traffic this dude could be a dog all right that's actually an upgrade not a big one but that's an upgrade all that's left are rising the ranks and heisman hopefuls heisman hopefuls is not gonna have a guard i don't think i think these are all like guess i don't know i haven't really done much of this oh my god i actually want to puke in my mouth he's on our team that is literally like a one in 100 pole a 91 d tackle out of the 86 plus pack that's ridiculous how do i get a dupe i've got like one of these players on the whole team oh my god you know what this rising the ranks pack is the exact same as the unauctionable except i just spend 7,000 more training so i'm just gonna open this one again it's the same thing we need something big here come on baby come on don't want to know the odds tito don't even fucking tell me them i don't want anyone to tell me the odds on that i'm opening one more just for the pain just so i can hurt myself you're also on my team blake bozma you better be the best tight end that's ever touched foot on a football field i feel legally obligated to get a blake bozma touchdown dude you know what the cookie be crumbling the cookie most definitely be crumbling i'm gonna put holden willis at wide receiver four though no, he's an 81 overall wide receiver holden willis why don't you tell me about that secret sauce brother all right chase todd still at left guard which i don't like i really wanted to upgrade that and greg penn still at mlb2 really did not get the luck of the draw here today although now that i think about it my sub linebacker can be a safety so i actually could put ed reed here oh it can only be a strong safety i could put lamiles brooks there which would then sub ed reed in at safety i actually do like that we have a lot of depth at this position now same with marquez sigil can actually put marquez sigil here he's probably better than ed reed <laughs> this is such a weird episode and it's the start of the playoffs i'm a little nervous now i'm not gonna lie but we're not done spinning we've got the challenge wheel as well which was huge for us last week completed that easily oh my god this is such a scary one 
We're gonna have to be so, so unbelievably effective running the football for this to not lose us the game. 18 carries with our running back. This is split between the running backs only because of wear and tear. So yes, it could be nine Bijan and nine Justice Ellison. We need 18 carries with the running back position and we're in the playoffs. So it's big boy football now. I kind of like this challenge. I think it's gonna force me to slow down and not play like an idiot. It's got Jalen Walker, Travis Hunter, Quincy Riley. That is an excellent team, but as you know- How is that not a catch? Is too. How is that not a catch? This guy is screaming over here. Oh, it's an Ole Miss off. It's an Ole Miss off. This is the first time I played someone else with Ole Miss. Let's see if Travis... Okay, you kind of missed your block. Okay, we need 18 carries with our running back. That is no joke. I have no idea how good this play is. But we're going to fake the jet and go for the toss here. Okay. Super ugly, but it's a carry to Bijan. That's one thing that Ole Miss playbook does not have is that's good outside handoffs. They have exactly one, but after you run it one time, your opponent kind of knows exactly what you're doing since it's the only play out of this formation. Pistol wide zone stretch. Just not a lot of depth here. Ooh, he came crashing down so hard. It's almost like he ran commit middle there, third and four. Nice work. I might go inside zone. It's four down territory, no? And it's gotta be four down territory. Oh my god, he peeled back so hard with his user. First and ten. Oh my god, we're carrying the football incredibly right now. I was a little nervous after that first play. Pistol bunch is nice because it so obviously looks like a pass. Like, everybody thinks this is a pass. We can still run zone out of this. Get a little juke. Four carries, 24 yards, Bijan. Second and seven. Wow. What? What? How does Nesbitt, Javon Curse gets that? How, was that ball so far in front of him that he couldn't touch it? it wasn't a great pass, but I mean, that should have been free. I have no idea what just happened, but that's a horrible start to this game. He goes no huddle to Quinshawn Judkins. Gets good yards. Maybe another handoff. He's running the ball pretty well so far. RPO this time. Jesus. Angles of the century, gentlemen. Angles of the century. It's the freest RPO touchdown you're going to see. Second and 10. I'm gonna hit Bijan. Take, ooh, broke some ankles. First and 10. Bijan's, Bijan's getting the ball a lot though. Is that man coverage on Trey Harris? I don't know why they gave him an option route on Trey Harris there, it was really weird, but I gotta score quick now that I've turned the ball over. I did it, and it was exactly what I said. We were running the ball, running the ball. As soon as I pass, I threw an interception. Hoping for man here, Jeremiah Smith will burn it. That is absolutely man coverage. Jeremiah Smith will burn it. Will he take it all the way? No, but that's a hell of a play. He saw it too. He tried to get to it, just couldn't. All right, how are we going to fight back after that big mistake right there? I'm just going to head back dive on Bijan. Get an extra carry under his belt. Pretty nice too because he... Dude, what? Just going to go Bryson Nesbitt here. This time it's a good pass to him. Third and two. Need a great play here. Third and two. Big play here. Big play. Big play. Got him. Gorgeous route, Trey Harris. Gorgeous route on the goal line. That was massive. And a great ball from Jameis. They usually, a lot of times under pressure, you're not going to make that throw. But Jameis delivers. All right, he gets ball at half. So we got to we gotta get our stop right here right now. Crucial, crucial stop. He didn't have to go very far last time. So let's see what a full offensive drive looks like out of him. Two-minute warning still alive. I love that. Let's see if it goes back to Quinshawn Judkins. I don't really expect it. More RPO, maybe? Counter run, very well defended, but he still rolls forward for five. I gotta be ready for the RPO. I know he's gonna spam it. Yep, he ran that RPO again, but we were all over at that time. Third and five, we knew what was coming. Great defense. And I think Michael Williams. Yeah, Michael Williams. It's a great way to stop that RPO. I assume a pass here. Oh, Trav! Trav's got it! I don't know why he threw that. Oh my God, what a massive stop. We needed that so bad. This was getting really scary. Okay, okay, we've got to stop. Now we got to hand the ball off effectively to move closer to our challenge. And of course, we got to score. Hopefully we no time left. Unless we want to stop him again. First and 10, I'm going stretch left. Oh, it's beautiful. Maybe. Bijan's got the wheels for it. He does. Head first to lay out one of their corners. We'll take three yards. I love it. I absolutely love it. He does not have the defense to stop an inside zone. Absolutely not. First and 10. Bijan is killing it right now. We gotta pull a little bit of this clock off. I can run it again. He does have the numbers potentially. Oh my God. Oh my God, Bijan! You freak! Nine carries, we're on pace. We're on pace. Bijan just completely carried that. Second and two, we're running shakes here. 
Third and two, I'll take that. That was a hot man blitz. Surprised he hasn't used the timeout here. Sent T-Mac inside. T-Mac, wide the fuck open. Down to the floor. No need to call a timeout, just run normal. We hand this ball off up the middle, and then we can call a timeout if we don't get it. All right, now we go inside zone. Don't want to score too much time. Let this come down to 14. Get behind the user. Bijan will fight, but not enough. Um, let's get Justice Ellison in for Bijan. I might just run hand off inside zone again. I think I quick snap this. Second goal, I just quick snap this inside zone. He's trying to make his adjustments. He doesn't get him off. Justice Ellison isn't in? Oh my god. I'm gonna go hat back direct. Third and goal from the one. I'm going hat back direct snap. I don't know how it works against this defense. I have no idea. Third and goal from the one. Came in too fast. Damn, I had him wide open in the middle on that slant. It just came in so hot. I don't think hat back direct would work. No, wait, no. I can't believe Justice Ellison wasn't in. I am gonna take this field goal. This game may come down two, three points. So I'm taking it. We need a possession lead at half, and that's exactly what we're gonna get here with Zane Gonzalez. Need some good return team coverage on this. And we're gonna get it! And it's our ball! It's our ball! Sean Dolich plays the hammer! First and ten. Is Bijan hurt? Is he wear and tear? We continue to run the football. I'm gonna try my monster stack. I haven't ran monster stack in a while. Okay, so there's one in the middle. That's his user. If we get past his user, we got this. Second and 10. Ah, sort of. Now third and seven, we gotta pass. I don't know if it's zone. I think Jeremiah Smith's open. Oh, he was. He sees Bijan. I'm going there anyway. Bijan's fighting. Fourth and one. I gotta go for this. We gotta go. Oh, Bijan's hurt bad. Bijan's hurt bad. If I'm gonna run this formation, it's gotta be Justice Ellison in there. If he run commits, he'll stop me. I need this to look like a pass. He's playing up close and personal. I think Trey Harris could get it for me. He's got it. He's got it. What? 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 He was already moving up field. He caught the ball and was moving up field. So how the fuck did he drop it? That's absolutely insane. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but this is still a ball game now. First and 10. He's going to pitch right. Quinshawn Judkins swallowed up. <laughs> Second and nine. What on earth did I just watch? I've never seen that before. Second and nine. Is it the RPO? Motion's over. Is it a real jet sweep? Play action. Get home! Wade Waters! Third and 18. He's in trouble now. He's in a lot of trouble now. Corner routes. Oh, that's a good play. No, you didn't just break that fucking tackle! Fourth and two, how? What's going on? How do you break this tackle? Trav is so much bigger. I don't know how it's fourth and two. Did he step out of bounds? I think we fake mid blitz. Although, if this is a run, it's the fake's not going to work because the run's just so good against this. Okay. That could have been a fumble because we kind of got him floating in the air a little bit. Same play. Bottled up this time. That is the luckiest fucking animation you're ever gonna get. Good lord, he just got dog rolled five yards forward. It's been Animation City today. One of my favorite things about this game compared to Madden is it's so much less animation based. But damn, we are getting so fucking unlucky right now. Oh, same exact play. So it looks like if, if I'm in 3 3, he's gonna run that. I don't wanna completely sell out for it though. Goes counter, so same thing, other side. First and ten, there's a pitch. He's gonna cut it up the middle and meet Devin Neal. Second and nine. I'm gonna QB contain. I don't want Jameis getting outside of this. Be a great time for Oh, left side's gonna be open. Hey! Michael Williams! Place the hammer! Third and nine. He's gotta pass. I'm gonna fake mid blitz. Third and nine. I'm using Will Johnson here. Letting the clock go. He's thinking about this. Timeout. What could be a very crucial timeout. Third and nine doesn't like what he sees. Resetting the offense. I'm not gonna guess pass, I want to. Everything in my soul wants to guess pass here. He's motioning to see what kind of defense this is. Does he get it off? Oh my God, he runs it? Fourth and 11, he's gonna just take the field goal. I'm so glad I didn't guess pass. Unless he goes for this on fourth and 11. I can't call my timeout yet, because if he gets the first down, I gotta be ready for it. Fourth and 11, I gotta be ready for Sean Dolich. He could absolutely fake this. To tie this game up, he's got Zane Gonzalez too. If it's a fake, it's going right side. It's real. And, and, and he misses! Zane Gonzalez cannot bury the 50 yarder. He's got two timeouts. I cannot have Bijan in. He's got to be so gassed. If I'm running the football, it's got to be to Justice Ellison. At back power to Justin Ellison. This is going to pull Preston Wilson to the left side. First and 10. He's going to commit to the middle. Oh my goodness, if we can get vertical there. Timeout. We have to keep the clock running here. I'm tempted to go for the first down and end it, but I'm scared. I'm not even going to lie. I'm scared right now. Second and 10. I'm taking this at the middle. Got to keep the clock ticking. 
seconds. So we can only get 30 more seconds off this clock. I think we gotta go for the kill. I think you can't play to not lose. You gotta play to win. So we go for the kill here on third and eight. At the very least, I mean, we gotta take a sack, right? Third and eight, we're going for it. Do you believe? Trey Harris, Trey fucking Harris. The old this legend does it against his own team. And that's ball game. Zero points scored in the second half. Zero points scored. He fumbles. Fourth down, we can't convert. He marches all the way down the field and turns it over. Oh my God. I mean, he missed the field goals, really what he did. Player of the game is Travis Hunter with one defensive interception. That was an unbelievable game. Defensive the entire time. And just when we thought, dude, just when I thought things were getting out of hand. Oh my God, by the skin of our teeth. Let's look at the stats on this game, man. So we had more first downs, more total offense. 16 carries. Dude, I tried so hard to get the carries and I only got 16. I was so close. 18 carries what I needed. Jameis was nine for 12 and that, that interception was on me. That, that was a really bad ball too. I don't know how it got thrown so far in front of him. Bijan, 13 attempts. Justin Ellison, two. And Jameis won. Uh, receiving Trey Harris with the absolute catch of the game. The catch of the game. That's why we run bronze tier takeoff, baby. Jeremiah Smith had a huge, huge gain, and everything else is just a super good defensive game. GG's my opponent. It was a, it was a great game. He's got to hit that field goal, but even if he does, we do have three minutes and a whole minute. So that was just a big defensive stop to hold a, hold him from a touchdown there. I want to know what happened to Justice Ellison on that one play. So this was my first interception. I made the wrong read anyway. I should have thrown this to Jeremiah Smith, but look at. I mean, this is what I saw. I saw that Bryson Nesbitt was usered or was being usered by a lineman, but it's just a horrible ball. This ball is never catchable for Bryson Nesbitt. If if his defensive lineman isn't standing there, that ball just gets overthrown and nobody catches it. It's just a really shitty football, but a great user play by him too. That's like the first play of the game. On third and goal, he sends mid blitz. He's got an untouched blocker. Trey Harris was in man coverage and fried his guy. So that was a huge touchdown. And the play of the game's right here. Third and eight to ice up. Jameis Winston to Trey Harris. What's crazy too is this could have been picked. If he switch sticks, switch sticks the only way he picks that off because that CPU will never do that. Oh, this is the one to Justice Ellison. Although I will say it looks like um, looks like Jeremiah Smith was wide open, but dude, what happened? I mean, he's on the football, so I guess it makes sense, but it looks like Justice Ellison's trying to go down. He's trying to do a possession catch. He like slide cancels. He's going to do a possession catch and then he gets up, starts running and he lost the football. I got to throw this a fraction of a second sooner though, so I can only be so mad. Regardless, we came out with a win. We won by three. It was a close ass game. Golly, no 40 bomb alert today. Hey, that's what happens when I'm going for 18 carries. It's a much slower football game, but that's one win in the playoffs. You see it right there. One of three wins. This next game you could consider at the semifinals, the NFC Championship. However you want to think of it, we're one game away from the national championship. So if we win this next game, we go to the natty. If we lose, season resets, and I don't get a prestige player. So this next game is huge for earning me a prestige, and then of course, we make the natty. We really did not add shit for players today, but we had a monster game. All right, boys, I love you. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you in another crucial playoff game. Peace!